Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix a hole in the balsa wing and also how to repair the covering film. So let's get going. So this is the damage to the wing. You can see I've already started to cut away the affected area in preparation for the new piece going in. This is the wing that isn't damaged. Hopefully when it's all done it should look like this. I've gone ahead and removed a bit more of the covering film. That's just to enable me to have a clean area to work on. As you can see, I've already put in the supports, obviously shaped the profile of the wing, and the hatch has been made to the correct size. That'll just glue in like that. And the repair job's all done. It's all nice and smooth. I've already got my covering film ready. When you're putting covering film onto your wing, as a general rule, you always want to put the light colours down before the dark colours. This is because the colour of the dark bleeds through the light colour. Same thing with transparency. You always want to put the transparent down first, for that same reason, it's just it shows the colour through of whatever you put underneath it. The first thing you want to do is make sure you take off the uh, backing of these covering films. Every film has one, so just make sure you do that. And what I like to do is, every time I get a, particularly when I get a new brand of film, do a little bit of a scrap test piece like that, just so you can make sure you get the temperature of your iron correct. What you want to do now is make sure you've got everything lined up correctly. Then you want to tack the middle and the sides and the corners and from there you go around the edges. Just small little tacks at the moment just to secure it in place. And when you're tacking the film you want to make sure you drag the iron from the centre to the edge that'll help pull everything tight. Wherever you can, make sure you pull it tight. That'll help reduce the amount of wrinkles that you have to iron out later on. I've got the outside mostly tacked now. Now I'm just going to run along the middle and tack that down. And now that's done, I can go along and seal down the rest of it. What you want to do is when you're working the film, you want to go from the middle to the outside. You don't want to stop here and start there and get all mixed up because you'll end up with bubbles in the middle, um, which obviously you don't want. If you do get bubbles in the middle, just get as, as fine as pin as you can, a little bit of a prick, and the bubble should iron out. Now that I've got the front half done, I'm going to go ahead and do the rear half. Because the rear half has the ribs that are exposed, you just want to make sure you do them first before you shrink the middle parts. Now that the film's pretty much put on, just make sure you run over this front edge again to make sure that's nice and sealed down, and the same with the back edge. Then you just get a sharp knife like this and trim off the excess. Once you've trimmed that off, just go over the edge again and make sure it's nice and sealed. Now this plane had a design on the wing that I need to replicate for the other side. So what I did is I've got some transparent paper and some low adhesive sticky tape just to hold it in place. And from there, you can copy the design and transfer it to the other side of the wing. So I've got the template in place from the other wing. Normally if you're covering the area of the wing where it's bolts underneath, you can just cut the shape you need larger, rule the line, and use a Stanley knife to very neatly, lightly score down through the first layer of the film and then you can just peel the opposite side off. But in this situation there's no bolster under these panels here so what you have to do is cut it to exactly the shape you want and use your iron on a very low setting to tack it down. The reason you do it on a low setting is you want the minimum amount of shrink possible on that edge to save distorting that edge. Make sure it's lined up nicely in place. Hold it down in a very light tack in the corner. Going from the middle out direction. And it's very lightly tacking it. 
now that I've got those two edges tacked, to stop bubbles forming between the two layers of film, you want to slightly lift it as you're very gently rubbing it backwards and forwards. And now that I've got that panel applied, I can go ahead and trim off this excess. And once you've trimmed that last piece off, just seal the edge and the job will be done. I think the job turned out really well. If YouTube or Google will let you comment, please do so below, and I'll see you next time. Looks like we've got two wing halves here. And here are the wings. They are foam core bolts of construction. Normally what you want to do is start from the back of the plane and go to the front. Now the motor can actually come straight apart. Ready to do the head and the vertical slot? Oh. If someone should push him there, <laughs> kick him in the butt. <laughs>